A tribute today to a 101 year old woman known as the Candy Lady. Friends, family and fans gathered in Brookline, Massachusetts to say goodbye to Ethel Weiss. Our Steve Avison is here now with a touching tribute. Christy Chris, in college I had an apartment right next door to Irving's Toy and Card Shop. Several times a week I'd stop in to get some chewing gum and a copy of the Boston Globe. But the main attraction was something else. Ethel Weiss was not just the heart of the store, she was the heart of a neighborhood. How to describe someone so beloved across three generations? Joyful. Inspiring. A maternal icon. Her face is always smiles. It's just a tiny store on a street near Coolidge Corner. But the tiny lady who did business here for 77 years drew quite a crowd today at the synagogue right across the street. Edith Weiss and her husband started a business selling toys and cards and penny candies. They made a living. More important, they made memories. Everyone going into her store just felt really happy going there. And even more important than that, her interactions of kindness made impressions that formed lives. She asked about my whole family. There were five kids in my family. She asked about my mother and all the kids. I mean, she just never forgot. She just never forgot. It was amazing. And she was so wonderful. I mean, she affected thousands of kids for three generations in this neighborhood. It was She's really wonderful. She'll never be, there'll never be anything like her. Never anyone like her again. Hundreds over the past few days have flocked back to the store they grew up going to for advice and help with homework. Many brought their children here to enjoy the same. Today they left memories of appreciation on the window of the store near the handwritten sign she'd made to appreciate them. Her family will decide what happens next with the store. Daughter Anita knows there's one simple but powerful thing tough to replace. The people are frightened. And when you go different places, it's always uh, comforting to know that there are so many more people who are wonderful. And one person that three generations will try to emulate and live up to will always be Edith Weiss, the candy lady of Brookline. Many families know that Ethel was a featured character in a series of books called The Beacon Street Girls. And just like in those books, young teenagers would come to the store looking for a treat, but they'd walk away with advice, the kind that kids often resist from their parents but found very easy to accept from the candy lady of Brookline. In the studio, Steve Avison, NECN.